Welcome to the Data Analysis Software Training, SPSS for Data Analysis. I am your instructor, Elijah Pia, and in this video, I will give you a brief introduction to SPSS. SPSS stands for Statistical Package for the Social Sciences, and it is a powerful tool that is capable of conducting just about any type of data analysis in the social sciences, the natural sciences, or the business world. When you launch the SPSS program, you will see a spreadsheet-like window as is displayed on the screen. Let us learn the parts of the SPSS window interface. The entire window interface is known as the data editor, and as you can see at the top left, we have the name of the program's window, in this case, IBM SPSS Statistics Data Editor, and the name of the workbook. Here, we have not saved this workbook, so we have Untitled 1 Dataset. On the same space at the right hand side, we have the Windows Control. We are most familiar with this kind of Windows Control in every application we open on our computer. We can actually minimize, maximize, or even close the SPSS application. Here, we have the menu bar, which has the menu options or commands. So we have File, Edit, View, Data, and so on. For data analysis, we use the Analyze and Graphs menu options quite a lot. Just beneath the menu bar, we have the toolbar icons, which are used to save our work, print, open new document, undo, redo, and so many other toolbar icons that we have here. We shall learn more about them later on. On the spreadsheet window, we have the variables in the columns and the row numbers, also known as the subject or case numbers. This is where we enter our data obtained from primary or secondary sources for our data analysis. We also have the vertical and the horizontal scroll bars, which make navigation in SPSS or even working with SPSS much easier. Two important tabs are actually here, the data view and the variable view. We can switch between these tabs. Now the data view is the default view that we get when we first launch our SPSS program. It is here that we enter our data into the spreadsheet. In the variable view, we can actually generate code and label variables for easy data analytic reading. To this end, I hope you appreciate this video and by now you have at least a fair idea about what the SPSS program actually is. Thank you.